The last two points I'd like to make about uh, lattice enthalpy is one, its magnitude, how many kilojoules per mole you have for that compound, is directly proportional to the charge of the ion and the size of the ion. In case of sodium chloride versus sodium bromide, you should remember that as you go down the halogen from chlorine to bromine, bromine gets slightly bigger in size and chlorine is tinier. Therefore, the electrostatic attraction between the positive and negative ions in case of sodium bromide is much weaker than sodium chloride. And that's why the magnitude of sodium chloride is slightly higher than sodium bromide. So 771 kilojoule per mole of sodium chloride versus 733 kilojoules per mole of sodium bromide. Bromine is bigger than chlorine and bromide is bigger than chlorine. Now in another case, if you look at sodium chloride versus magnesium chloride, not only magnesium is smaller, but it's also two plus versus sodium, which is one plus and larger. And that's why the magnitude of magnesium chloride is so humongous, 2,500 kilojoules per mole compared to 771. So one is magnitude for sake of multiple choice. Remember it's directly proportional to the charge. The higher the charges, the, the stronger the lattice enthalpy and the smaller the atomic uh, the ionic radii, the stronger the lattice enthalpy. The other information that you can gather is if you have experimental and theoretical value of lattice enthalpy for a compound. Uh, one other noteworthy is remember uh, you will have a data table that has both experimental and theoretical if you are calculating Hess's law born hopper you have to use experimental value. In case of sodium chloride the both values are 771 and 70, 766 for theoretical versus experimental. If you calculate percent error which is the same concept as percent error uh, which is the difference between theoretical and experimental within x absolute value divided by theoretical times 100 for case of sodium chloride, you will have an extremely small difference, 0.65%. Now, if we compare silver chloride, the experimental value is 905. The theoretical value, is, which is simply based on calculations of atomic radii and charge, is 770. And the percent is about 15%. The large percent indicates that you have more covalent character because the calculations which is based on simple ionic description is is far off from the experiment that we do so the bigger the difference the more covalent character you have the smaller the difference the more ionic you are so sodium chloride is more ionic in character compared to silver chloride